Well, you ready for a demonstration video? How fun, right? And I'm the operator. <laughs> I'm the Dr. Mix. <laughs> so this is one of my tracks. It's called Jam Time. And it's just a beat. That's what I normally make is beats, uh, synthesizer sounds. I make soundtracks. I make horror soundtracks. I make all kinds of soundtracks. I like a, I'm a soundtrack man. I like to make a track of sound. You get it? <laughs> anyway. So this is Jam Time. It is a cool beat that I just recently made, and you can see that it's loud. It's uh, actually just uh, hitting at minus 1 dB, and I'm going to bring it down below 5, because when I started using this EQ, it's going to push everything up, and when I'm recording this track and you know recording the video, we don't want to have no pops or crackles because it's over... So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. We just go up here to have uh, an effect and we go to volume and compression. We go to normalize and I'm going to type this in minus five. And when I apply that, boom, see how quiet that track got. So now it's going to be real quieter. And the reason why I did that is because when I start adding the EQ effects, it's going to shove those peaks higher. So you want it to be down so that you can work with it. You never want your peaks at one or three. You need to get them at least down to five. And and that way you have the headroom to do all these effects. So this is this is for people who's on YouTube and uh, wants to uh, understand this. I put these videos on other sites as well. And so they're kind of talking to whoever and just a demonstration. But it, you can also learn from it too, I guess. I'm not a teacher. I'm not here to school you. I'm here to tell you, check this out. This is cool. Okay, that's all. And it's what I'm going to use. So so I got this track quiet, and let's go ahead and get into it and show you what the track sounds like uh, by itself with no effects or nothing. It's just the way it sounds as it is. Here's what it sounds like. And you can see up there on the the meter reader the uv meter it's only hitting at six db so it's that's pretty good it's pretty quiet it's not too quiet but it's it's right where it needs to be okay so you get an idea what you're going to be listening to all right now let's go ahead and bring this effect process or this uh uh plug in up it's called the s it's called spl pq it is a mastering plugin, and there it is. Look at that. Woo, that's cool, ain't it? It has one, two, three, four, five bands on the top. So we got a we got a hi-fi. This is the this is the uh, the one that's below that. And then we got the mid-range, and then the middle mid-range, and then we have the bass. So basically, this is a sur surgical EQ. It can like dig right into your track and make your track sound good. So you can like have a bad part on a track and you can turn it and you can like really just like dial it out. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, all I do is use the EQ. And so that's that. And here we go. Let's get busy. I'm going to play the track and I'm going to start turning knobs. You're going to hear it on the fly. You're going to hear me changing the sound while you watch the video. So you're going to hear changes. So the best thing to do before I start is make sure your volume is down on your phone or uh, on your system, whatever you're listening to, because when I start cranking this, you're going to get a higher level on your phone or whatever it is. So I'll also on my behalf on editing, make sure that it's not too much. But I'm just letting you know that keep your phone at a level or your whatever device you're listening to this from or watching this from. And that way you don't have no overage on your speakers or whatever you're listening from. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to preview it. It's going to start playing, and I'm going to start turning knobs, and this is how it sounds.
All right, so basically what I did was is I turned on the knobs in front of you and you heard the sound change. So I'm going to reset this and it's going to put everything in default, which means nothing's going to be engaged. So you're just going to hear the original quality of the track and we're just going to play the sound. Here we go. This is the track without any effects added. I just don't want it too loud. Okay, now let's listen to it with me adding the effects. Ready? One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, there is now. Okay, let's go back to reset. Oh yeah, see the difference? Okay, so you get the idea. It just basically like brings your track to life. I mean, if, if it sounds dull or basic or good, you can completely make yourself sound this good. So you control like this, when it sound like this, which I can do a lot of sound effects with my voice, so I know how to do all them sound effects. But yeah, you can take yourself sound like you're out of the box and come out like this, you know? So anyway, that's a video I uh, just wanted to share with you guys. It's called Brainworks, SPLPQ Mastering EQ. I'll have a link in the description. I'd go ahead and make a video to show you guys what it can do and how it sounds and what it can do. It can literally make your tracks come to life, okay? And if I'm correct, a plugin like this in the real hardware would be about $15,000. So, talking about like the hardware version. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hope you learned something and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you go buy one. But it's a nice plugin and I'm loving it and I'm gonna use it on all my tracks. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.